Hello everybody, we're back doing another video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to find the permutation of numbers in Python. Now you can skip a few seconds if you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I'll just explain it a few, for a few seconds. So you have an input as an integer, and then you print out all the different ways of that number in previous. So the numbers is one, two, three and you find all the different ways you can arrange these numbers. And you have to print the ways. Otherwise, it's just that number factorial. And factorial, I actually did on my very first video, but we have to print out the ways. So the, it's a different way. So let's start going into coding. Okay, so first of all, first off, if this is sort of like using iteration and recursion of the way that I do it. So let's first get an input of n and then we'll have all the numbers because that's what we need as a list and we'll get i for i in range and from one to n plus one so then we'll go from one two three if n's three and then we'll run a function call so let's we gotta first make the function Let's name it perm for short because there's some recursion. And then we're gonna just have the num numbers because n isn't, as, n isn't that use, useful yet because we already used it for the num numbers. Okay, so if the length of num is equal to zero, then it's likely a mistake if they did, had n is zero. But if it is, then we'll just return an empty list. And then this is the thing that actually matters if it equals to one. Then we're gonna return the numbers in a list. The reason why I'll show you later, it'll, it'll be in this, it'll be in this list right now. So we're gonna make a new list called L. L just stands for list. And then we're gonna go through every item in the numbers. So range, and then length, nums. And then we'll just have M as that number. So nums, and then I. And then we want to get every other number around it so you can keep on going down. So that's why we're going to do, we'll just name it the list rest. And then there'll be nums, everything before M or everything before I actually, because I is the index, M is just a number. And then we'll add nums, everything after, everything I plus one and after. And then these, this and zero are all the same. And then we're going to use recursion here. So for J in perm rest, because we got to use the rest to make it keep on going down. And then we're going to use the list. We're going to use the list to append M right and then plus j and that's the reason why we have this in a list because as soon as it gets down to one we got to return it as a list so then it'll be a list plus a list and then that's how it'll append it as a whole list in the list and then yeah and then it'll keep on going over and over again with this for loop and then we'll just return we'll just return l Right, and then we'll just do for j and perm nums, and then we're just gonna print in. Let's just say we print j, and then so just say it's three, right? And then one, two, three, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, and three, two, one. That's basically how you do it. And just a little tip here of how to make it so there's no list brackets and commas just add a star here and then it'll just be the numbers that's a cool trick 
so yeah thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like and subscribe it'll help this video it'll help this channel a whole lot and i'll see you in the next video bye